this is Keith Fraser for seconds out. We're at the press conference, or the press conference just finished for British Beef. And for all our European counterparts, particularly the French in the beginning of Brexit, I say, le boeuf Britain, c'est le meilleur du monde. And here I am with Eddie Hearn, who's the promoter of this big, big fight on February the 3rd. This is what boxing fans want, Eddie. This is the fight where... I say better early than never. A bit like Kelbrook Ami Khan hasn't happened. I'm hoping you're going to give me some news on that, maybe. But earlier than never. Let's get out of the way. Let's get it done. Boxing fans are seeing what they want to see, and you're making it happen. Was there, a, was there anything in your mind thinking, I want to wait a year, two years down the line for this because we can all make a load more money? What, what, what's your take on it? It's definitely too early. I mean, you know, it's a guy, two prospects who are, I believe can go on and both become world champions. But everybody wants to see it now. And we have an obligation as promoters to give the fans what they want. We also have an obligation, obligation to develop the fighters the, you know, in the right way through their career. But when you get a situation where the fighters, their team, their management, their trainers that are saying, make the fight now, make the fight. We don't want to wait. Why wait? Now's the time. It's great news for the promoters. And I think what you're going to see in 2018 is more fighters, more trainers, more camps willing to step up because it's the only way you can go and be a star is to give the fans the fights they want. And as a promoter, it's a blessing because now you get an event like this at the O2. Everybody's excited about it. It's a pure 50-50 fight. It's a brilliant fight. Roll on. And, of course, Anthony Josh is involved with this fight. I don't know to what extent, but... Is that something that you're thinking about? Because Anthony Joshua is obviously a big name mm. and it brings a greater attraction to the fight hype itself. Everything you just said. I mean, he's the biggest name in world boxing. So when I asked him last weekend if he fancied being involved, he said, well, what do I have to do? I said, come to the press conference, talk about the fight. And he loves boxing. He loves this fight. Obviously, he represents Lawrence Acoli, but he loves these kind of fights. He had a fight very similar to this with Dillian White back in the day. And this has that kind of feel to it as well. I've always brought Anthony into our business. There's plenty of things going on with our business that Anthony's involved with that people have no idea about. He's a very intelligent man. He knows how to promote shows. He brings masses of attraction to this fight as well. We've seen the turnout today. And, you know, he can play his part as well. So I don't think you're going to see Anthony Joshua traipsing up and down the country promoting shows. But what you are going to get is a guy who has a huge amount of profile interested in this fight, getting people talking about this fight, bringing his audience as well. And like I said, his career right now is to become the undisputed king of, of the division. And that's the sole focus for him. Well, I, I always say to, to you, when, we, when we've spoken before, that as a boxing fan, I want to see the big fights happen. What's for uh, 2018? How close, are we are, how close are we, or you, to announcing officially AJ against Joseph Parker? Um, we're close. We're not there yet. I think we have a... A great position with Duco and, and David Higgins where I think we have a, a deal in principle. But we have a long way to go on a number of finer points um, as we draw up contracts for this fight. March the 31st, April the 7th, both dates that are in play right now. And, you know, we'll see what happens. But Christmas is uh, slightly put to the side while we try and deal with the finer points of, of this deal and this promotion. It's a brilliant fight between two world champions, two undefeated big punching heavyweights. And these are the fights that the public want to see. These are the fights that are going to deliver us that undisputed tag. And that's what Anthony wants. So fingers crossed we get the Parker fight over the line. We have a huge fight for the spring and then move on to more in the summer. Well, one person you've got back is Kale Brook. Yeah. March the 3rd, I think yes, you said. Right. Now, I think Kale Brook perhaps if he would have been fighting at uh, light middleweight against Errol Spence, might have, he might have won the fight. In fact, I was speaking to Johnny Nelson a couple of weeks ago, and he agreed. Kell Brook at light middleweight. Are we ever going to see the fight between him and, and Amir Khan? You've got a Coley against Chamberlain. Mm. Early. The best way. Get it out of the way. Come on, we want to see it. Is there anything you can say that, that can get us excited about the fight that every boxing fan wants to see, but it looks like it's never going to happen. Probably not at the moment. All I can tell you is that Kel Brook will return to the ring and it looks like Amir Khan will return to the ring. So in that respect, there's always hope. Um, we're going to see how Kel gets on at £154. I think he'll be a much better animal at £154. Let's see. But of course, we always want to make Brook against Khan. And it's still a huge fight, a huge fight, especially with a win or two for those guys. So we'll see what Amir does with his career. But for us, March 3rd, um, Sheffield Arena, a tough fight for Kelbrook against Rabchenko. It's going to show us exactly where he's at. I believe he's one of the best fighters in the world, and I'm looking forward to his return. 
Well, listen, I'm looking forward to 2018, obviously, with a big fight on February the 3rd. You've also got the Boxing Super Series. I know you probably don't want to talk about that. No, but I'm involved with that. No, well. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, I've worked with those guys on a number of different levels with fighters. You know, I'm very different to other promoters. But other promoters try to block things, try to poo-poo things. Not mentioning any names, of course. No, no, no. But it's just because it's you, you sort of become bitter in this sport. I think the World Boxing Super Series are doing a great job. Kala's doing a great job. I've put a number of fighters in that tournament. I will continue to do so and support it. So no problem talking about that sort of thing. And it's great for boxing. And our plan for 2018 is just to get bigger and bigger, make the biggest fights possible here and in the States. Well, as a fan, I want to thank you, Eddie, because you're putting on the fights that we want to see, particularly this one on the uh, February the 3rd between O'Coley and Chamberlain. I want to wish you and all our viewers a happy Christmas and a, a peaceful and healthy 2018. Do you want to mention that at all, Eddie? Of course. Uh, thank you to you for your support. It's been an incredible year. We've broke boundaries. We've broke history. We've made history, even, um, in some huge events. Keep pushing me. Keep kicking my ass on social media. We are trying to make the biggest fights possible, day in, day out. Roll on 2018. Have a great Christmas, and God bless for the new year. I second that. From the man himself, Eddie, thanks very much.